Hi, I'm Jason and I'm the developer of FireJumpers Pro. In this video tutorial, I'll be showing how to use the hand crew and the dozer. I'll also be discussing map properties such as elevation, slope, and impassable terrain. So let's find a good place here to start cutting. So we're just going to zoom in here. And as I zoom in, you'll notice these elevation lines. And each one is an elevation of 100 feet. And if that elevation is too quick, that slope, if it becomes over 15 degrees, it becomes impassable terrain for, uh, for vehicles. Only ground crews, such as hand crews and hostings, uh, that would be able to cross this. So let's add a hand crew here. And we can set them to either run or cut. And we're just going to set them to and we draw the line like this. And as he starts to cut, uh, it will also look at the terrain type and find if there's any kind of resistance. Now, right now, there's a road and there's very little resistance here. So we're just going to increase the game speed because at 20 chains per hour, it is quite slow. And you can notice here that as it's cutting, it's changing its cut speed based on the terrain. Here, the terrain type is a tree, and it has a cutting resistance of 36%. Now, for comparison, let's add a dozer. Now, this dozer is at 80 chains per hour. So when we add this guy, and we set him to doze, and we draw this line, you can see in comparison the difference. He is four times faster, but he's also dozing through trees, which is less resistant for him than the cut team. Now, once he gets into impassable terrain, he gets stuck, and you need to actually get him to find a better path to come all the way around. So you can find a path. Now, even though there's uh, lines here and there, there's a threshold. So it needs to be more than six in, in the nine square that it has. So he can actually find his way through here. And so that is the difference between a, uh, a hand crew and a dozer. And you can also create your own units so that you can change the chains per hour. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that the effective radius for any cutting team is always only one chain in size. Um, and so that is just the standard, but it still does a pretty good job. Okay, thank you very much.